Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's March the 28th, and today is a pretty cold day in Toronto. It's like about minus 30 with a wind chill. Hard to believe for March, but anyways, we have to live with it. Today I want to talk about um, doing signal captures. You know, many times we're in the field and we want to look at uh, a particular telecom signal, um, and we don't necessarily have the time uh, to do everything on the spot. So what we can do is basically take a signal capture. Now, one easy way of doing that is to use my favorite uh, tool, the RTL-SDR. The RTL is basically the uh, Swiss Army knife of telecom. But with the RTL-SDR, if you can connect it to uh, your, your laptop uh, with uh, GNU radio, or you can use the Raspberry Pi with GNU radio, here's a simple schematic you can use to capture the signal. So, for instance, I've got my RTL SDR source block, and um, I'm setting up my sampling rate. Now, typically for the RTL SDR, you can go a little bit higher than 2.4, but 2.4 is about the limit. So 2.4 mega samples per second. Each sample coming out of here is, if you look at the um, <clears throat> the data or the uh, help file, it says it's a 32-bit float. So that's probably, um, the RTL produces eight uh, eight bit data chunks. So it's probably two bytes of I and two bytes of Q. That would give you four bytes or 32 bits. So that's what's coming out of here. And uh, I've created a variable center frequency. So center frequency would be the center of the particular signal you're, you want to measure. So here I've set it up for a local FM station 104.5. And I've set up a variable uh, GUI range for, I'm using the QT version of uh, GNU radio. So I set up a range variable for the RF gain here. So typically at 30, it might be a little bit high, uh, but we can go, let's say, from 0 to 40. And then here, here's the key, uh, uh, the key block here. It's a file sync. So it's uh, basically it's a C-type data, 32-bit uh, data sync or file sync. Um, so I'm calling it RTLSDR RF received data dot dot file. And uh, so I've connected it here like that. So if, if I run this, let's run it. So right now I'm saving data. And we can see here that there's a signal here at 104.5. And I'm going minus 1.2 megahertz below that and 1.2 megahertz above or for a total bandwidth of 2.4 megahertz. Okay, now I can adjust my uh, RF gain there, so I'll just stop that. So right now then, um, I've written this into the file sync. So then I can go to a file read. So here's my file read schematic. So basically I have the same sample rate, 2.4 mega samples per second, same center frequency variable. So I've taken that file, which I just, the same file name that I've just written to as a sync, and I'm now using it as a source, and I'm just gonna go into the scope so we could um, could look at that, so we should see the same type of picture. Okay, so we're basically seeing the same schematic or same uh, uh, spectrum as we did before. Now, just for fun, I have another block uh, schematic here, and so this is the file source that I've written to, and this is to, like, for instance, we were listening to a wideband FM station, so this is a wideband FM demodulator. So I've added these blocks to my file uh, file. Uh, playback block so we could just run that and we can hear what we captured find out about the support and financial assistance available at no charge to all contrave patients so basically in here you would put in all the circuitry you'd want for instance we're listening to wideband fm maybe it's narrowband fm maybe you're listening to some marine signals or maybe some am signals from let's say um adsb or um VHF airband, something like that. So in my previous blog posts, I've got all sorts of schematics for decoding the signals, but this is just for capture. So then just to recap then, uh, here's my uh, capture. I've got my RTL as a source. Now, if you, the files get big very fast, so you can imagine 2.4 mega samples per second. If I sample for 10 seconds, that's 24 mega samples in 10 seconds, and each sample is four bytes. So that's a lot of, uh, that's a big file. So let's say we only want to um, look at, let's say, 200 kilohertz of spectrum. So then you would reduce this from 2.4 down to 200 
uh, kilohertz. And that would uh, reduce the spectrum. 